Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch the Settlers New Allies game on your Windows computer or if you are facing crashing and freezing. Now the first step is to switch to native resolution in Windows. So open Windows settings and then go to display. Go to system first and then click on display. Now scroll down over here, you can see display resolution. So select the recommended one. So switch to the you can switch to 1920 into 1080p and then now launch the game now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files go to library and find the game if you bought the game on epic games launcher you can click on this three dots over here and then click on manage and then click on verify now even if you bought the game on epic or if you have the game on ubisoft connect you can open ubisoft connect because when you launch the game it it, it installs the ubisoft connect so open ubisoft ubisoft connect and then go to games and over here you can see the game over here click on this down arrow and then click on verify files now after the verification launch the game next step is to switch to dx11 if you are unable to launch the game then go to epic games launcher so go to epic games launcher on the top right over here you can see your profile icon click on it then go to settings scroll down at the end over here you can see manage games under that you will see the settlers expand this now put a check on additional command line arguments and over here type in dash dx11 do the same thing on Ubisoft Connect. Now go to view game details and then go to properties. Scroll down over here, you can see game launch arguments. Now over here, click on edit and then type in dash dx11. Click on save and then launch the game. Now, if you are able to launch the game, you can select the DX11 in graphics settings. Now go to settings and then over here, go to graphics. Now over here you can see DirectX. Now you can switch to DX11. So if DX12 is selected, you can switch to DX11, apply the settings and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. So you can go to Ubisoft Connect, then go to properties over here and then you can click on open folder and it will straight away open the game installation folder. Now uh, over here you can see the game exe file, make a right click then select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, click on ok, make a double click over here and try launching the game from here. You can do the same thing with the settler plus file, you can make a right click then select properties and go to the compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok so if this does not work if it gives you any kind of error message in that case if it's not working you can uncheck run this as an administrator if that does not work so try launching the game from here as an administrator if that does not work in that case, follow the next step that is allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, so if you have like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee. So if you have any kind of antivirus program, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Now if you have Windows 11 
on the left hand side you will find an option privacy and security in windows 10 click on update and security in windows 11 click on privacy and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now click on scroll down and then click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file now click on open once this is added again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then select this exe file and then click on open once both the exe files are added over here now launch the game you can do the same thing in control panel so type in control panel in windows search box and then open control panel go to system and security then click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings in the top and then click on allow another app then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open then click on add in my case this is already added now once done again click on browse and select this exe file now click on open and then again click on add in my case this is already added now once uh, the game is added in my case it's already added once the game is added now click on ok and then launch the game now the next step is to clear your ubisoft connect cache now for this go to this pc open c drive open program files x86 now open ubisoft folder open U ubisoft game launcher folder over here you can see cache so make a right click and then you can rename this as cache underscore b a key or you can rename anything once this is renamed okay ubisoft connect is open so first of all close ubisoft connect now once ubisoft connect is closed now you can make a right click on cache folder and then rename you can rename whatever you want you can type in period old once you have renamed it now you can open ubisoft connect and then you can launch the game now the next step is to disable ubisoft overlay also close all the overlay application so if you have any other overlay application running if you have discord running or geforce experience running if you have nvidia shadow play on or amd overlay so close all the overlay application now to disable ubisoft overlay open ubisoft connect and then click on this three horizontal line over here and then go to settings now over here you can see enable in game overlay for supported games uncheck this box and then launch the game now also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running close it if you have reva tuner running close it so close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all in my case the disable all is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so put a check on hide all microsoft services then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to reinstall files in support folder now for this go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the game folder now open the support folder open the software folder and over here i have one file so make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then agree if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install after the installation then restart the computer and then launch the game now i will not do it 
but you can go ahead and do it uh, i have already i already did it now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 se select windows 11 now click on start search and then scroll down the latest one right now geforce game ready driver that is driver version is 528 period 49 click on get download and then again click on download now once the download is complete run this exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so you can roll back to the previous version you can install the old graphic card driver again i am showing for nvidia card select your graphic card and the right operating system then click on start search the latest geforce game ready driver is 528 period 49 you can install 528 period 24 or maybe 528 period 02 so you can install the older version click on get download again download and then run the exe file but when you install it make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation do a clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install latest version of ubisoft connect so make sure that you have the latest version so you can go to ubisoft connect website click on download for pc install the latest version and then launch the game login and then launch the next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website Now over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Now over here you can see x86 and x64 version. You have to download both x86 and x64 version and then run both the exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and run the second file as well. Again if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed it. That's why it's telling me to restart my computer. So once this is reinstalled, you will see a restart option. So click on restart or you can simply restart the computer from here. So after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to, now if you have Windows 10 N edition, then install media feature pack. So if you are using Windows 10 N or Windows 11 N edition, you can go to this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser again it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you, you can see windows 10 n edition open settings and then go to apps and then go to apps and features and then click on optional features now click on add a feature over here type in media feature pack now once you type in media feature pack you will see media feature pack over here I don't have an edition of Windows. I have Windows 10 Home. So when you type in Media Feature Pack, if you have an edition, you will see Media Feature Pack. Put a check on the box and then click on Install. Similarly, if you have Windows 11 an edition, then go to Settings, Application, Optional Features, then click on View Features, type in Media Feature Pack, select it, install it, restart the computer, and then launch the game. Next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse select the second exe file click on add once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now, launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. For this, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings. Now, click on the first settings. 
and then go to the advanced tab and then click on change by default automatically managed paging file would be selected over here uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then put a check on custom size and then for me this is working initial size is 1.5 into total ram now check the total ram in your computer so you can open windows settings go to system and then go to about and then over here you can see the total ram in my case it's 8 gigabytes so it might be 16 in your case so in my case it's 8 gigabyte now you have to convert 8 gigabyte into megabyte for this you open calculator on your computer and in my case total ram is 8 gigabyte we have to convert this to megabyte into 102 1024 that is 8192 megabyte so total ram as per 8 gigabyte in megabyte is 8192 for me so initial size is 1.5 into total ram that is this is the total ram into 1.5 that is 12288 and maximum size for me it's 3 into total ram now total ram is 8192 in megabyte into 3 so for me it's 24576 enter the numbers over here then click on set click on ok click on ok and then click on apply ok ok now the next step is to make changes in the graphics settings if you are able to launch the game then try dx11 switch to window mode lower down graphics settings so launch the game first now go to settings on the top right over here you can see the settings icon click on it then go to settings now go to graphics over here now over here if this is set to full screen try borderless if that does not work you can switch to window mode now over here lower down resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and over here vsync is on so you can turn it off and then set the fps limit at 60 this will give you stable performance now D direct x 11 try dx 11 so for many users this has worked so switch to dx 11 if that does not work you can even try dx 12 but first of all try dx 11 now I scroll down over here if this is set to high you can select medium or you can even try low so for every settings you can try medium or low so if this is set to high select medium or low turn this off now apply the settings confirm it now check the performance or you can launch the game once again after you change these settings you can launch the game once again and then check the performance now the next step is to step is to update your windows now this is important so make sure that your windows is up to date so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to disconnect multiple monitors unplug all the usb devices which you are not using so try launching the game on single monitor so disconnect all the usb devices if you have additional controller connected to the computer disconnect so disconnect the usb devices which you are not using also if you have these services running in task manager close these services and then launch the game make sure only the steam and the game is running i'm sorry only the epic games launcher and the game is running or only the ubisoft and the game is running the rest close everything including all your browsers and then launch the game the last the next step is to update system bios now uh, go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a lenovo computer go to the lenovo website if you have dell computer go to dell website if you have hp computer go to hp so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your model number and then find the latest bios available and then download and install the latest bios now when you are updating the bios in case of laptop make sure the battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer and then update your system bios now during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios 
once the BIOS update is complete, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So uninstall the game, delete the game folder from the game installation folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.